It was January 1st, 2003. Um, I was five years old. Um, and it was New Year's, so my, t my mom, my twin sister, and I, we were going to this little New Year's Eve gathering in the neighborhood. And then we came home that night, and I remember at five years old being excited, of course, to get home, run inside, um, talk to my dad, everything like that. And I came into the house, and uh, I opened the door at five years old, and I looked up, and I just saw my dad, and um, he had just died. And at five years old, I remember this so clearly that I didn't, I didn't run, I didn't scream, I didn't cry. I just stood there in shock as everything in my life just seemed to come crashing to the ground. It felt like slow motion as, as everything that I knew, my whole reality, um, just slowly started to come to the ground. And I think that was the one of the, definitely the toughest day of my entire life. Well, your dad had actually taken his own life, hadn't he, Kyle? That's right. That's right. And that had to be a bigger blow than you could ever fathom because you really had a lot of love and respect for your dad, didn't you? Definitely. And did he not deposit some positive things in your life already at this point, even though he might have been struggling? His life is really, it's so much motivation for me. The thing I've learned from him the most is the value of time. Um, you never know how much time you have left with the people that you love, with the opportunities that you have. Um, time is only here for a season. So you have to make the most of the time you have. Well, that could have destroyed you. Why did it sure. not destroy you when you saw that the one you loved and then realized, okay, he did something that you don't even understand that hurts you all so deeply? How'd you, how'd you make it through that? Why, why did that not just derail you and you go off yeah. into some extreme? What, what prevented that response? Well, to anyone who's dealing with a big tragedy in their life or something that goes wrong, I would tell them this, that you do not have to let the misfortune of your past determine the fortune of your future. Just because something bad happens to you, the, the biggest tragedies in our life, I would say, often lead us to the biggest moments of decision. Um, you can choose to let your history dictate your future, or you can choose to let your history tell his story. It's our testimony, it's our story, it's, um, it's the things that we can use in the enemy for the longest time, the enemy told me, don't share that story, don't share your testimony. Um, and it wasn't until I did that this whole journey began. I promise that was the moment that it all began.